author and broadcaster Amy Nicole. Dominique, I absolutely adore this queue. I love everything about it. I love how it's operating. I love the vibe. I love the positivity. But it really infuriates me that MPs are able to drag their mates along and skip straight to the front. I think it's just a total disgrace. Am I wrong? Yeah, I think it's a completely wrong thing to do and, and a bad look. It's supposed to be about national unity with the Queen passing in its stead. It creates the impression that these politicians, their mates and Westminster journalists are, are far too above the common people. They're, they're far too good um, to queue up with them. And it begs the question of, you know, would they be paying their respects if it meant that they had to queue um, for hours on end? And I think the answer would probably be no for some of them. Sean Bailey, surely this is one of those moments when politicians should be with their public. You're probably right, Dan, but before I address that, let me just say the queue in itself is a wonderful thing. Too much of our public discourse is about the fact we're all at each other's throats, we're not getting on. And to see the length of that queue, the patience of people, and people just interacting with people they'll probably never speak to again in such a warm way, I think, is a wonderful thing. And it's, again, a part of our Queen's legacy. She's just left that opportunity, even in death, for people to come together. So I think that's great. Look, what politicians should have done is read the mute music. This has always been the way. In, in the past, politicians could have done this as well. But times are changing. And I'd argue that a politician who was in that queue would, would get an uplift uh, around speaking to people that they wouldn't normally meet, meet the public in a different way, not just in a constituency. It would have probably been good for them as well. Mm. But Amy Nicole, the issue is they like to pretend they're of the people and actually when push comes to shove, they're not. They will use their privilege to skip the queue. I'm sorry, I'm so outraged about this, Amy. I'm not, I'm not as, as outraged about it, although I think what we've gathered from the conversation so far is that the queue is the place to be. It's like the new Chiltern Firehouse. So if anything, they're absolutely missing out. Mm -hmm. I saw a post just before I got here from um, our very own Dawn Neeson, who queued today, and it just sounded like the experience of the queue is, is the best part. But what I would um, think about this is that the MPs who aren't going to queue, basically, I wouldn't really want my MP to have the time to queue for 12 hours. I think there's possibly more pressing things going on in the country at the moment, although maybe some of them have been queuing for 12 hours because that would explain the state of the country at the moment, perhaps. Um, but really, this is their office. The, Her Majesty and Parliament are inextricably linked. So I don't think it's much of a surprise um, that they got first dibs on this, really, is it? But come on, Amy, come on, Amy. They haven't been working at Parliament for weeks and weeks and weeks. They've had a huge parliamentary recess over summer. There's a parliamentary recess at the moment. There's about to be another one for conference season. So actually, why are they better than us? Why are they more important than us? Lots of us are having to go to work and line up in this queue. No, what I found um, offensive about this story wasn't the fact that the MPs get a fast-track pass. I think that's kind of understandable considering their place of work. However, it was the fact that the other staff, the cleaners, um, the press team, or other parts of the um, people that were working in Parliament didn't get a fast-track. And I think that's, that, that really does show that there is um, the MPs do have that massive sense of entitlement. But that shouldn't be a surprise to us. Come on. Where have you been? Dominique Samuels, I just thought this was a moment for the country to all come together. And anyway, it, 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 it's, it's wound me up, especially, Dominique, seeing a politician like Angela Rayner, who claims that she's one of the people, but the moment that she's able to use her privilege to get past all her constituents, she'll do it. I think it just goes to show that the majority of, I mean, Majority, maybe that's a bit harsh, but a lot of our politicians do profess to be servants of the people when really they're only servants of themselves and the perks that they can get. And I suppose that's one of the many flaws of being human, but it seems that it's always the ones that are attracted to jobs in politics that behave like However, that. However, like peculiar. if Angela Rayner had stood in a queue for 12 hours, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be full of praise for her today. I absolutely would be. 
I, Sean Bailey, I absolutely would praise any politician or any MP. And by the way, let me know if you've seen any MP actually lining up, because I would be full of praise for that, Sean Bailey, because to me, it would show that they are with the people and they don't believe they are above us. Look, I- I'm going to come down in the middle here. MPs, again, like I said, historically, this has always been the way. What's probably a, a little bit egregious to me is the broadening of everybody being able to stay there, press and everybody else being able and to... And buddies. To, uh, and buddies and the like. But MPs, they, they, they have a job. They are representing us, and, and this would be a good use of the time. I do believe it's important that they go and see the Queen, lying in state, see how important it is to the people of the country, feel the atmosphere. I do think it will help them make decisions slightly better. But again, having, you know, a, 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 a fly pass, a, a quick nip in because your, your mate happens to be an MP, that is probably a little bit worrying. But for me, I think an MP misses out if they don't spend some time with the queue, because in the queue, you'll get a range of beliefs, a range of ideas and, and an opportunity to interface in the public in a very unique way, a historic way that won't happen again.